Hi there guys, welcome to Reload Northamptonshire for the Easter holidays activities. My name is Pete Thompson, aka Skip Beats and five times skipping world record holder. Thank you for choosing the home skipping activity. Few things to think about before we start. Always have our skipping rope ready, but we're going to give you some options of ways you can take part without using the skipping rope. Parents, please make sure your child or young person is wearing some form of sports clothes and trainers. If you're skipping inside, make sure you've cleared enough space around you and you've got enough space above you to turn your skipping rope. If you're skipping outside, make sure the floor is flat and even and please be careful. Other things we might need over here, I've got some water. You're going to need some water close by and always make sure you complete the warm up. Welcome back guys, session number two of the home skipping activity. In today's session, we are gonna complete a little bit of a different warm up. We're gonna refresh over some stuff in session number one, and then we're gonna to progress today into a skill called alternate step skipping, where we're gonna try and run through our rope and then we're gonna build that technique into a mini workout at the end. As always, have water ready and let's complete our warm up. Okay, ready to go. So you need your skipping rope. If you haven't got your rope today, you're gonna to complete the activity without a rope and do the movements without using the skipping rope. Okay, so let's get a bit of music turned on and for our warm up, here we go. Perfect, so into your space, make sure you've got enough space around you and above you to turn your rope. We're gonna to start today with our rope in our hands. Bring your feet together, but you're gonna put both handles into your left hand. Again, if you haven't got a rope, you're just gonna be doing the circles and the jumping. So, starting off, no jumps. We're gonna bring that rope into that one hand and we're just gonna make some circles on the left hand side of our body. Similar body position to previous sessions. Head up, shoulders back, little bend in your knees. Okay, just rotations, just on that left. Keep that shoulder back. Okay, you stay facing the front look, so from the side. There's your small circle. You've got your head up, your shoulders back, and you're nice and upright. We're just gonna warm up one side of the body. And we're gonna change to the other and we're gonna try and do the movements jumping as well. Okay, right, rest it there. Come back to the center. Bring the rope to your right hand. Exactly the same. Feet together. Head up, shoulders back. And remember, we're trying to make those small circles. Even if you want to, you can bring the other hand in. So if you haven't got a rope, this is what you can be doing. Now just be careful not to smash it into your feet or to any equipment at the side of you. So you want to keep your elbow close to the side of your body and we're making a small circle with that wrist. Change hands, back to the other side. Little bend in your knees now this time, okay? Just a small little bend from the side look. Small little bend. Head up, chest up, same sides, small little bend in the knees, perfect, okay from here back to that left hand, we're going to rotate and we're going to try and bounce, so that easy bounce we did in week one, similar to our calf raise, stay facing the front guys, but from the side here, you see a small jump from me, my heels slightly off the ground, that wrist spinning the rope on one side of the body. Now there's a reason we're bringing in the rope turning on one side. What we're going to do as we add in new skills and we're changing what we're doing with our feet, we're going to always practice it first without the rope passing under our feet. And then at any point, if you find the technique difficult with what we're doing with our feet and we're changing our feet in different directions and you're finding it difficult with the rope going under your feet as well, we're going to bring the rope out to one side of the body to practice our footwork. Okay, back to the middle. Can we change hands to right? It's starting to feel a little bit warmer now. 
feet together, chest up, back up straight, head, try and keep it upright and still. And you can hear also the clip of the rope and the whip of the rope as it spins. Basically, we're going to spring up and land softly with that rope on one side of the body at the same time. So as it flips the floor, we're springing up into the air. Okay, rope down. In front of us, enough space into a high knee rope. Jogging on the spot. Now, something slightly different with this today. You're going to do three runs. One, two, three, and then you're going to pause and stop on one leg. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Again, try and stay nice and stable. One, two, three. Stay with me. One, two, three. 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 Keep facing the front and the side. Look. One, two, three. And pause. One, two, three. One, two, three. Start to speed up. One, two, three. 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 Last one. One, two, three. Okay, rest it there. Pick your rope back up. Okay. Untangle your rope a little bit. As you turn it on one side of the body, it might have become wrapped around itself. So either pull it apart, step on it. Look, I sometimes step on it and just pull it either side. Okay, step through. We're going to go just to a normal skip. So big circle like last session. And just to an easy bounce. Okay, nice and slow. So continue that easy bounce. Land softly, look, so nothing too fast to yet. Hands down by the sides of the body, small rotation, stay facing the front, head up, shoulders back. Recapping over session number one with our basic skipping technique, landing soft, jumping nice and light. Last few seconds of the warm up. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest. Grab a drink, guys, if you need one following the warm up. And we're going to take it straight into developing the alternate step skip where we're going to attempt to run through the skipping rope. Okay, so it's going to look something like this, but we're going to build it up in levels. So, whatever level you're at, you can take part today. So, it's going to look like something like this, hopefully by the end, but let's start with the basics. Rope down a second, okay? Into your space, think about that warm up, where we were doing a three step march, and then we were pausing. Just bring it back to this for me, okay? So you're not running on the spot now. You're just gonna march one, two, three. And there's a couple of things I want you to look at here. If you guys stay facing the front, my knee comes forward and my heel is underneath my knee. It's not up behind me here, okay? So from the side, you're gonna bring that knee forward and you need to try and keep yourself nice and stable. So you're using your arm for balance and this is gonna be what our hands are doing, okay? So we're going to be doing this same motion almost with the rope, but we need to start to stay nice and stable and controlled. We don't want to try and do this as fast as we can yet. Okay, one, two, three, and pause. One, two, three. Again, look at my back. Upright, chest back. One, two, three. And you almost want to keep yourself nice and narrow. Okay, you want to keep almost like imagine like a cylinder, and you're going to be inside it. Okay. You're going to be nice and compact because we want to be compact in our rope when the rope's spinning. One, two, three. One, two, three. So from here, take it into a jog, but nothing quick. Okay, we're going to pause on each side. Okay, so we're landing soft, absorbing the impact, but we're keeping ourselves stable using the rest of our body. Okay. And this is also going to get those legs nice and warm. It's like another part of the warm-up, okay? 
Use your arms for balance. Shoulders back, head up straight. Take them to a jog now, then we're going to go a little bit quicker. And now bring your hands into the side. And just imagine that we've got those handles in our hands. And we're spinning the rope with each turn. And we're landing one foot with each turn this time. Okay? So this is the motion without a rope at all. So again, if you haven't got a rope, you can always complete these activities without one just by doing the footwork movements. Okay? Last few seconds. Okay, rest it there. Now we're going to go back to what we did, or similar to what we did in the warm-up. Okay, so take both handles into the left hand, and you're going to begin to circle on the left of your body. Then take it into the mount, and then take it into the jog. Okay, so alternate step. So now with each turn, with each clip of the rope, can we land one foot? at a time as that rope's spinning. Okay, start nice and slow, and you can also land softly, absorb the impact, and a little pause on each side to keep ourselves nice and stable. Again, look from the side, my knee's coming forward. We don't want to come here, okay? If we start to come in this position, as we put the rope under our feet, what will happen, guys, is that rope will clip underneath us, okay? So try and keep it so your knees come forward and your heels are roughly underneath your knee, okay? Right, change sides, rope to that right hand side, easy bounce first, and then when you're ready, into that jog. Now you're gonna find it more difficult on one side than you are the other, just like when you write in a classroom and you're using your pens and pencils, you're going to have a more dominant side to turn the skipper rope. But doing this as well is going to even out both sides of our body. So we want to try and do what we do with our right hand and our left hand. Okay, so we're going to try and make an even circle on each side. Okay. Right, rest there. Rest the feet a second. Bring it back to the other side. Go into the march. So nothing too fast. And then you can go one, two, three, pause. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Now this is a challenging one. One, two, three. Because you've got to turn the rope, you've got to count to three, and then you've got to keep yourself stable. So you've got two things happening. Rest, other side. Bring it to the right hand side. And then into the march. Again, you're going to find one side easier than the other. I find it more difficult on this side. This is in my left hand. Okay. Last couple. And then take it into a quicker run. Just to bring that heart rate up. Change sides if you can. Quicker on this side and rest. Okay. Another sip of water if you want, guys. Now here's the challenge. We're going to try and do something similar to what we did last week, where we're turning the rope. We're going to start with one jump, but this time we're going to do it onto one leg. Okay. So starting in our ready position, we looked at last week. Bring your feet together. Rope behind you. Back up straight. Head up. Don't even jump yet. Let's do our circles, forward and back. Again, you guys stay facing the front, and always, if you're taking part as a family, make sure you're spaced out, you've got enough room around you, or you're taking turns in the activity, okay? Just show me one normal jump with two feet together, like we did last week. So one circle, one jump, let the rope spin. Step through it, do it again, okay? Couple of these, and then we're gonna try it on one leg. And you can even do a backwards one, backwards circle, forwards one jump, backwards one jump. Forwards one jump, backwards one jump. The last one. Okay, here's the challenge now. We're gonna try and step onto that one foot. So just like that warm up, we're nice and stable and we're pausing, or we're landing on each side 
changing from left to right and right to left. We're now going to rotate. Watch me do this first. As that rope gets above you and in front of you, you're going to just step onto one foot and stop. Okay, and you can try and stay stable, just like that warm-up. You're going to rotate, land on one foot and stay in this position. Make sure that rope carries on turning, okay? So try it on one side, then bring it back behind you, try it on the other side. Okay, let me show you from this side. So here's my left leg, rotate, step, and the rope carries on spinning. On to the other side of the body, rotate, and let that rope spin. Okay, so again, you're gonna find a more dominant side again. So just practice both legs. Let me show you from this direction. Step, step, okay, one, Step through, two. Try this in a backwards motion as well, look. So start with that rope in front of you. You're gonna rotate backwards, and then land onto that one foot, okay? Rope in front again, rotate, and land onto one foot. Try it forwards, one foot, backwards, one foot. Forwards, one foot, backwards, one foot. Now, if you're really struggling with this, similar to last week, bring that rope in front of you, or last session, sorry. Bring that rope in front of you, feet together, you're gonna to jump onto one foot, and then turn. Okay, then you're gonna take a little step back because you will come forwards as you do it this technique. Okay, so you're gonna step onto one, and then turn. Okay, then the next challenge there is to rotate, and then land onto that one foot that we've been doing already, okay? Next step, we're gonna try and stay on one leg, even though we wanna be changing sides, okay? Now you're gonna rotate and maybe do 10 jumps on one side and then stop, okay? Then change sides, so rotate, other leg. And stop, just to warm up each side. Other side again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So give this a try, and again, you might find one side easier than the other. Last one, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a little breather, sip of water. I'm getting a little bit warm in here, so I'm just gonna take off the tracksuit top. Again, you're welcome to do this as well. Okay. Back to our circular turns, and you're gonna land on one foot, stop, other side. Now we're gonna try and change sides, okay? So this means there's two rotations, and you're gonna land on right foot, then left foot. Okay, so you're gonna rotate, slow it down. You're gonna rotate, one, two, and then stop, okay? So it's exactly like running on the spot. Okay, now if you really struggle with this, again, you're gonna go back to the rope at the side. Right, so get it turning, and then go one, two, stop. Okay, or you can even keep the rope still, okay? Just like it would be before we skip, and we're gonna rotate, one, two, stop. Okay, then do it on the other side. Rotate, one, two, stop. Okay, then exactly the same with a rope trying to go under our feet, okay, with both hands together. So we're going to rotate, one, two. Now if you can do that, the next step is to keep building up the numbers. Okay, so if you can do two, you're then going to try and do four. So you're going to go one, two, three, four. Okay, if you can do that, you're going to go to six, so you're going to start building it up. Now, look closely at where my knees travel to and where my heels are. We're going to go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, what we don't want to do is come up behind, okay, because we're going to catch that rope as it's rotating, okay? If you can do six, you're going to go to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then 10, last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, again, if you're struggling with that going under your feet, you find that really difficult, go back to that one hand. One, two, and then stop, okay? Then four, rotate first. One, two, three, four. Start to bring the knees up. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me show you from the side. 
8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay, and then 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, change hands, so go to the other side, 2, 1, 2, stop, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, last one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, awesome, right, rest it there, so whatever level you're at, we're going to move it into a little interval workout now, where we're going to use normal skipping for a couple of rounds, and we're going to use alternate skipping for a couple of rounds, okay, we have a 15 second break in between, so we're going to skip for 30 seconds, and we're going to rest for 15 seconds, okay, we're going to do four rounds in total, two rounds of normal skipping, two rounds of alternate, so whatever level you're at, if you haven't got a rope at all, okay, for our normal skip around, we're going to bounce on the spot. Okay, hands down by the side. You can have your feet a little bit apart if you want, or you can have them together. Okay, and for our alternate step, we're going to run on the spot. Knees forward, pumping our arms. Okay, again, if you're using the rope today, if you can do the alternate step, you're going to try and stay in this position for 30 seconds. Other options are you keep the rope going under your feet and you stay on one leg, okay? If you can land on one leg over and over, you can do that as an option. Other option is that rope at the side, okay? And we're going to run through the rope still, but with the rope at the side of our body, okay? You can even change hands halfway through, I'll tell you when that is, or in round number two. Okay, so a little bit of water if you need. We're gonna start a timer for our mini interval workout for session number two. Now there's gonna be about 10 seconds before the buzzer goes off. I'm gonna give you a three, two, one, and then a go to start skipping, okay? Right, into our ready positions. Rope behind, feet together, back up straight, Ready to make our first turn. Round number one is normal skipping feet together. Three, two, one, off we go. Normal skipping, rope under feet and overhead. Landing those feet together. Elbows tucked into the sides. Back up straight, try and keep your head in the same position. Halfway. 15 seconds to go, can you start to speed up? Come on. Keep that rope spinning, skip to the beat, rest in, in three, two, one, and rest. You guys take a breather, next round, alternate step, okay? Either rope under our feet, rope to the side, or we don't use the rope at all. Ready positions, three, two, one, rope overhead and step, okay? Landing softly, from the side look, knee coming forward. Head up, back up straight, try not to lean forward. Wrist rotation, halfway. Can we speed it up, come on. Keep breathing, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Into a rest, stepping through that rope. Ready positions again. Round number three, normal skip. Feet together, big circle, going in three, two, one, off we go, rope under feet overhead, feet together, landing soft, nice and upright, use those wrists, shoulders back, head still, we're halfway, can we increase the speed, come on, 10 seconds, Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Last round, alternate skip either. We haven't got a rope and we're running on the spot. We're turning to the side, or that rope's going under our feet. So always a few options. Three, two, 
One, step it over. Come on guys, final round, final round. Final bit of the workout today. Come on. Keep those feet moving. Remember if you swing into the side, you can change hands. 10 seconds to go, come on. Head up, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Take a breather, guys. Woo! Bring on a little bit of water if you need some. So guys, thank you very much for joining. That is the end of session number two. See you next time.